Lookup files are dictionaries of values that have several uses in DQC. In this tutorial, we will use the lookup step to verify Canadian zip codes. We will also learn how to create a lookup file using the lookup builder step. The files for this tutorial are located in the tutorial folders called lookup and build lookup file. The first file we see is the input data. It is a list of about 500 Canadian addresses. We want to determine whether the values in the zip code column are valid. We will do this by comparing them to a file that contains all possible Canadian zip codes. The second file is a special type of DQC file called a lookup file, which has an LKP extension. We will show how to create this type of file in the second part of this tutorial. The third file is the plan file, which contains the steps we need to verify the zip codes in our data file. After reading the data in the text file reader step, the zip code values are verified using the lookup step. Let's see how this step is configured. The column containing the values we want to look up is specified in the key lookup value column. In this case, it is our zip code column. The table file name property is where we enter the lookup file that we will be using for verification. Next, we want to create a new column that will store the verified zip codes. Zip codes that are found in the lookup file are assigned to this new column as is, while empty cells are used for zip codes that aren't found in the lookup file. Expression lookup key is used to generate the results of the lookup verification. The fill columns button can be used to see the predefined lookup functions. In multi-column lookup files, a value other than the key value can be returned. For example, state or province names can be returned from their abbreviations. The other lookup tutorials provide more complex examples. Finally, we would like to see the result of the verification check for each zip code. In the score node, we can specify an explanation column and select which explanations we want to see, such as zip code found, not found, or null. The next part of the plan calls for creating separate files for zip codes that were verified and those that weren't. This is done using the condition step and setting the condition to check whether the created column is null or not. Let's run the plan to see the results. We see that two new files were created. The first shows the 43 records that contain null or invalid zip codes. The next file lists the remaining records that contain valid zip codes. This is a brief introduction to the lookup step. Please look at the other lookup plan files provided for more advanced uses of the lookup step. Now we will show how to create a lookup file from a text file using the lookup builder step. Again, we will start with a text file reader step. This time we will be reading a text file with a list of the Canadian zip codes. In the lookup builder step, we will enter a name for the lookup file we want to create in the file name field. Next, we will label the column that contains our key values, that is, the values that we want to access and search through. This is the name of our column in this case. If our text file contained more columns, we could enter them in the additional columns table. In the matching value node, we can specify some options for creating the lookup file, such as whether to remove accents and spaces or convert all entries to uppercase. In this plan file, we have specified an optional output file in case some records are rejected by attaching a text file writer step to the output of the lookup builder step. This file will be populated with any duplicate or invalid values in the input file. Let's run the plan and view the output. First we will look at the file created to handle duplicate entries. We see that it is empty, so there were no duplicate or invalid values in the input file. Now we can open up the lookup file and see that it looks like our input file, except that it has now been indexed for use with the lookup step and can be used inside our plan files. In this tutorial, we have learned how to create lookup files and how to use them to verify values in input data.